I'm not here and um yeah I can see my salmon because I'm having my salmon at like what time is it now 11.25 on o'clock I never know what that o'clock is actually happening for that oh, hello fruits I'll be eating a banana later banana yeah you can see some avocado there <laughs> yeah um, uh, this uh, slog, slog. I don't know if it's now called a vlog because the thing is actually right here. So yeah, hey, what's up? So yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna be. This is just gonna be. I'm just. This is just. I'm just gonna be talking about um. What's that? Uh. Oh yeah, the re the updates on. Uh, YouTube and Facebook and all that. I am still. And yeah, fa fan fiction, yes. I am still, for those who are fa my fan fiction followers, I, I am still, I know there's not, there hasn't been any much updates. I know that. But, it's just because I'm really, I don't have much time to actually finish the whole chapter, or any story of my chapter, any chapters of the story. Good news in English! Um, I don't have any time of actually trying to, get any of my stories finished or written done I haven't even got anything done re really for writing because my because my daughter now it's in September now uh, September because it, okay now it's October 1 and my daughter's school um, has been hassling me a lot okay just because I'm a Filipino and such and then all Buddhist and Chinese but Chinese Buddha Muslims I think and yeah, they have a, a thing against me for some reason, just because I, just because I'm a Filipino, and I can I can speak in Cantonese, so they cannot just gossip about me behind their back. <clears throat> they're trying to get, they're trying to get at me by um, charging me more than I'm supposed to, because I applied for government funding or government school system thing, where. If you're, if you're, if you don't have enough, if you don't have a basic salary of, uh, how do you call this, um, an average basic salary per person in Hong Kong is about, uh, 12,000 Hong Kong dollars, I think. I think that's the minimum. Minimum for you to not have a school, school scheme thing so for your daughter or son to uh, have an education for free uh, apart from school fee and lunch fee and all that and I don't have a job it's actually I don't have a job because if I did get a job no one will be able to look after my daughter and I don't trust anyone here I don't have any close friends around here around Hong Kong to be able to have to be able to watch over my daughter take care of my daughter while I go to work and I was born in Hong Kong so did this let me get this clear I was born in Hong Kong and so and my legal my parents are legally are legally the Hong Kong residents so I'm ba I'm are basically a Hong Kong resident also but because I'm a Filipino, people think I'm a domestic helper or such. Yes, racism. Racism. Racist. So yeah. Especially if you go send your daughter into school every morning, they think you're the yaya or the domestic helper or the... What do you call... I don't know how to explain yaya from Tagalog to English. Uh... Yeah, yeah. Servant? Or... Uh, basically a person who just looks after a child but it's not yours and you're paid for do to do so. Yeah, that kind. That's a very good description I've got so far. <clears throat> so, and, uh, and so that kind of also prevents people from doing anything right. That also prevents me from getting anywhere. And, uh, 
So my so basically now I'm at home just uh, now I'm just a homemaker trying to clean up everything, trying to fix up everything. Uh, fix up I mean fix up I mean with this with the with only high school graduate knowledge and one year of first year of college of mass call of nothingness in my brain. I try to live by I try to go by in this house fixing fixing and updating computer, fixing the fridge, fixing the rice cooker, fixing up the toilet and fixing up my beautiful aquarium. Hello fishies. I just changed their water this morning, so yeah. Hello fish. Hello fish. Ouch, sorry. Here's my black little fish there. It's the only black fish out of all these. I don't know why. My mother likes that one black odd fish. And yeah. I'm rendering my video at the moment for um Book of Unwritten Tales. It's part seventeen. No worries, there'll only be twenty parts, so yeah. Um yeah. I only have I only get to do these things in the house. And because of my lack of education and certification, I can't just get any job now, can I? And because I <clears throat> and well yes, um it's kind of a problem now because now minimum requirement is you have to finish uh, form seven, high school year seven. In my year, okay, in my side of year graduating thing, because I came from the year where um, where Hong HKC Yi, Hong Kong cert certified certified examination. I forgot the whole name, but yeah, it's now it's gone already ever since two thousand ten. So. Um, I came from that year where I have to take HKCE, and so, and you only, your minimum requirement is to have to finish at Form 5, if you can get all 5 A's in your exams for literature, English, Chinese, maths, geography, any course that you've taken since Form 4, Form 5, Year 4 and Year 5 high school. I took... Um, I took course for, uh, what's that? Arts, yes, I took course for arts and not science and not economics or commerce or traveling and tourism. And my, car, uh, my subjects cost, consists of English, elementary Chinese, mathematics, ba uh, general mathematics, not A maths. Uh, telephone! Okay, finished talking with mother. My mother is a provider and money funder <laughs> of the houses, bills, and rentals. So yeah. Uh, let me get back to my school subject. So yeah, um, because I took five M, five M, four M, five M courses in uh, literature, arts, and stuff. Uh, Tipping and ready there, salmon. I'm hungry. Looking at you. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I only manage, uh, so I only get two years of studying, the in-depth studying of my courses that I've, you know, I've chosen. I don't, it's supposed to be arts, and I don't know how did commerce end up there. So my, cons my subjects consist, yes, that's what I'm talking about. My uh, subjects consist about English, elementary Chinese, maths, general maths, general Hong Kong maths, God's sake, that math is hard, um, geography, Hong Kong geography, uh, history, Hong Kong history since um, Hong Kong history since 1900s to present, and world history that contain, contains uh, involves World War One, World War Two, and then the economics, uh, economics, and then the what do you call it, the Great Depression, and all that stuff. Oh. And then I also had to, I also had, because I didn't have enough subjects, I had to get, get um, commerce. I did not understand a goddamn thing about commerce, but if I didn't take it, I will not be able to take the exam and I will not be able to pass. So, oh yeah, I also had English literature. English literature was the only, one of the only few subjects that I passed greatly. Um, uh, the highest mark would be... Out of the whole uh, in grading system for a certified HKCE would be about 
would be five uh, a star or five star a star a plus i don't know a star yeah that's what you call it a star a plus five star and uh, um, that's the highest and then the next one is a b c d e f and u u is unknown uncertified and most of my other subjects apart from english literature and elementary chinese I got everything uh, F and D, and that was not enough to pass. Uh, literature, I had B, D for boy, and elementary Chinese, that was a different grading system because that involved I, G, C, S, E, and that I passed with a 5, an A, A+. Plus. I don't know why am I so impressed, why am I so happy, but that wasn't enough because that didn't involve HKCE. And I tried to go, and after that, I tried to go to the Philippines, study two years of first year of college. And because I got cheated, I got ripped off by my money, and I got, and I was, uh, how do you call that, culture shocked. Because I've been living in Hong Kong for for almost the rest, whole of my life, my whole life. So I got shocked, ripped off, or somewhat raped, because I was given alcohol and I didn't know I had a very 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 grave bad rela allergic reaction to alcohol yes I am one of the few people who cannot enjoy the luxury of alcohol maybe wine beer or just five percent of goddamn alcohol in your drink no alcohol and I got a bad allergy of makeup too. Even foundation. I have a very bad allergy to foundation. Foundation liquid, foundation powder, light foundation, heavy foundation. Just a slight touch of foundation on my face. I'm already going to have rashes. Very bad. So yeah, I'm never going to be pretty. So that's my basic past history. But yeah. And because of all that crap, the school principal is looking down on me every time we have payment. And I'm supposed to pay, if I was a rich ass person, I was supposed to pay 2000 something per month for my daughter's school fee. Half day only, that's a half day. If it was a full day, it would be about $4,000. Hong Kong. You times 7 or 8? Yeah, that's basically how much per month in U.S. currency. 2,000 times 7, right? Uh, 14 or 16,000 U.S. dollars per month. Just for your daughter. For kindergarten. And you don't know what it's going to be in primary school. And because I've got, I'm eligible for government subsidy, I only have to pay... 450 Hong Kong dollars per month. Uh, times 7 to 6, about, about 3,000 US dollars or something like that per month. Not involving lunch, it's just only half day. I did a lot of wasabi. <laughs> I love it. Sorry. I'm a big fan of wasabi. In salmon. And in any sushi I have. <clears throat> and so because of that hassle over the principal, she hates me, she's racist. Just because I'm the only Filipino who's, as, who's applied for government subsidy. All the other Filipinos are rich ass folks, okay? Because they're married to Guaylo, white people. And that means they have the money. I'm not saying it's bad, but it just makes me look, it's just, it's kind of unfair for some of us. <sighs> And so that also made me get angry every day. I have no inspiration and motivation to lead a writing. No, I still have the inspiration. I still have the pictures and drawings in my head. No, not drawings. The imagination of the stories in my head. But because I have to really be... I'm being nagged by this principle every time. Harassment, nagging every time. And I have to take care of my daughter and there's no one here at home. As you can see, for the past how many minutes I've been, fuck, I've been, I've been how many, I've been recording, 
There's no one here because they're all at work at the airport. Their basic salary is about what? Six thousand and ten thousand Hong Kong dollars. My six my sister is six thousand Hong Kong dollars per month because she's only doing part time due to her chronic disease. And my mother ten thousand because she's been there working for about almost ten years already. It raised from eight thousand dollars to ten thousand dollars. It's not enough. And so, no time to be inspirational. I have to find time to be defensive in case the principal is going to start harassing me again. I know, not a very ideal school idea thing. I live by. I have to live by its stupid rules, school rules, academic rules, so yeah. I hope in the future schools won't be as racist because this wasn't how it is when I was when I was growing up. When I was growing up, it's all fine. It's all equal. And when I was growing up, it was still under the British rule, so it was fine. Everything was fair. <sighs> Schooling was fair. Equality was fair. Kids didn't know about racism. Kids were happy. They didn't, have, they didn't have to be poked around, they didn't have to be bullied. Apart from me, I was growing up and I have an unfortunate classmate. I can't say who his name is because I can't remember who he was already. I know he's Chinese, localized Chinese. But it looked like he was mixed because of his dark skin. I don't know. But yeah. He found me, and he found me, he found, he's a racist, he's the only, I'm the only Filipino, I one of the, I'm one of the three Filipinos in our Chinese class, because there's a Chinese school, you have to take Chinese school or else you won't be able to go to secondary, um, secondary school, locally, and um, that, guy, that kid was racist, so he bullied me every day, just because I'm a Filipino. Apart from the other two Filipinos, or three, yeah, three, because we were all childhood friends then. I lost contact with them since I left. Um, <clears throat> we were practically next door neighbors. And yeah, every day that Chinese little kid would just bully me every day. I don't know what did I do to him. I'm just a classmate. I'm like five seats away from him, and I don't know what did I do to him. I hope that I hope that changed now. Apart from then, I, ever since I moved to a different school, I was fine, and it's all fair, equality. But I don't know what, I don't know. I hope it's not like that now. Now that I have my do my own daughter, I hope it's not like that now. I never told my parents I was actually bullied because I tried just to hide everything and all, and I wasn't that emotionally painful or scarred. So I was like. What is racism? I didn't know what is racism back then. I just didn't know what the Filipino and Chinese thing back then. So, ever since I actually learned, actually, uh, to try to understand the world, everything became even worse in my head. So, reality hits you hard. And after me, I'll be blabbing. I'll try to my best to update on my stories, update on everything right. I'm now just really recording recording 10 videos a day just to help me progress. So I'll go back to my breakfast and until then, if you have any questions, just leave it behind on the comments and until I'll answer anything I can, I do it my best with my uneducated, uncertified, ungraduated brain. So until then, this is Nat Narf signing off.